Don't get me wrong, ASUS makes some fantastic motherboards, but why on earth are they so overpriced this generation? I've ranted about this a lot already, but the ASUS Prime Z790P is yet another example of a pretty good motherboard that simply isn't worth what ASUS is charging, because this motherboard is going to cost you $250 for the DDR5 variant, or $240 for the DDR4 one. So what exactly are the selling points of this motherboard? Well, starting off with CPU power, here we have 14 plus 1 power phases, rated at a maximum of 50 amps. Which while more than adequate for most CPUs, even high-end ones, it's still kind of disappointing how this motherboard, which again costs up to $250, gets completely demolished when it comes to power delivery by other similarly priced boards. And to add insult to injury, you only get an 8-pin and a 4-pin CPU power connectors. At least the PC expansion is rather good. That's something that ASUS have been weirdly good at this generation compared to the rest of the motherboard as a whole, with, with four PCIe 16X slots in total. One of them is your main PC Gen 5 rated 16X slot, while the other three are 4X Gen 4 slots. So more than enough bandwidth for most people. Add that one tiny PCE Gen 3 1X slot for say a capture card or a sound card and you have a pretty good set of expansion options. Especially when you add to that 3 M.2 slots all rated at PC Gen 4 speeds. Though strangely only one comes with any kind of heat spreader, which again, for this kind of price you would hope that at least all the M.2 slots are covered, but whatever. Another disappointment is the fact you only get 4 SATA connectors, which in a Z790 mobile board is just truly unacceptable. But what about the rear I.O.? Maybe the rear I.O. is what really sours this mobile board and... Oh. Oh. That's awful. Okay, okay, it's not the worst in the world, but... Oh boy, where do I even start with this? With 7 USB Type-A ports in total, it's not the least, but also not the most in the world. But what's more disappointing is that only 3 of them are USB Gen 3 or faster, though at least the singular included USB Type-C port is rated at 20 gigabits per second. Add to that integrated HDMI and DisplayPort, 2.5 Ethernet, optional Wi-Fi 6, and yes, you heard me right, Wi-Fi 6, not Wi-Fi 6E, which is pretty much the standard on all Z790 and other current gen motherboards, even more budget ones, so a good job there ASUS. And then to top it off, another major disappointment, only a mere free audio jacks. But hey, at least you get PS2, for the one or two people who are gonna care about that, so yeah, have fun with that. Now while this might seem overly negative, don't get me wrong, there's still stuff that this motherboard does right, like the PC expansion, but there's still so many other fantastic Z790 motherboards at a similar price, so if you want to check those out, then make sure to check out the other videos I have linked up in iCards, and if you want to buy this or another Z790 board, then make sure to use Amazon's links down in the video description below. Down is going to find our Patreon, which you might want to check out if you want to help support this channel, and I'd also like to thank my extinct patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan Oki Beach, The Rage, Ella Vroniak, Bardish Roker, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby, Jesse Hubman, and Chan Odgun. Down is going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.